For the molecular geometry for CS2, we'll first go to the Lewis structure. You can see that on either side of the carbon, there is a sulfur atom, and that those are connected by double bonds. According to valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, those two sulfur atoms are going to push away from each other and be as far as they can be from each other and still be bonded to the carbon. So when they do that, that gives us a structure that looks like this. We have the carbon in the center, and then on either side, we have the sulfur atoms. This is called a linear molecular geometry. We could also use the AXN notation to check to see if we have the correct molecular geometry. A, that's the carbon. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to the carbon. We have the two sulfurs, so we'll put a two right there. And N, that's the number of lone pair electrons that are around the carbon. All of the electron pairs for carbon are involved with chemical bonds for the sulfur, so we'll just ignore N. You could have memorized that AX2 is a linear molecular geometry, or if you have a table available, you could look it up. When we look at our table, we see that AX2, that's the first entry, it is linear, and the bond angle is 180 degrees. If we go back to our three-dimensional structure, that 180 degrees is because it's in a straight line, so that's 180 degrees. That's the molecular geometry for CS2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.